Hello everybody, it's Andy from AM Media Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool trick with textures. Um, somebody asked me in a recent message, how do you align textures on walls just so it has a uh, seamless transition? There is a, a few ways to do that. Um, the way that I've always found helpful is by using um, a series of setup nodes within your texture which align based on pixel orientation in the world so you're going to use an absolute world position and, and you're going to set up the code in your texture so when you create your material so what it would look like normally would be if you were to apply a brick texture for example on on this block and you create a new block and then if you want to then, let's say you wanted to make one of these blocks bigger, then you end up with, well, yeah, you can you can see that, right? You end up with an unaligned um, uh, brick layout. It just looks ugly and it's not pretty. So you can try and align that, but then what's gonna happen is your blocks, your bricks are gonna end up stretched because the UV is being stretched with the block um, the only way then you could potentially fix that would be to basically fix the UVs in modeling but then you'd have to do that with every single wall and you'd have to make multiple walls you wouldn't be able to use the same wall and then just copy and paste it over so it's going to look a little bit complicated but this is how um, I do it. So we're going to go into, so I'm going to pop this over on my other screen and I'll run you through how. So we're going to set up a texture. We're going to go to uh, material. I'm going to call this one just auto align UV map. And then we're going to open that up obviously not on that screen, I want it on this one, there we go. Um, we're going to open that up and in here we are going to add a texture sample so you can find the texture that you want. So let's go to, let's get brick and we'll do, we'll do the clay one. Uh, so we need to find the master material for this. So let's see if I can find one. Uh, we'll do this one. So there we have a texture sample. Now, in here we're going to have to write out some code. Well, not physically write it, but we're going to have to make some code. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a pixel normal so we're going to go right click uh, pixel normal and we want uh, this one and out of that we're going to get two mask nodes so we're going to hold uh, not multiply sorry we're going to right click and then get a mask we're going to get component mask we're going to control c and control v and then we want to connect are pixel normal into both of these but we want to change the um, axis point so the world geometry location so we've got your x y and z rgb so we're going to change our first one to just r and then we're going to change our second one to just g so it's going to look like this. The next thing we're going to do is add an abs node. So we're going to go um, abs, which is under the maths. And we're going to drop that in there. We're going to control and C and then do the same for this one. So it's going to look like this. Let's move that back. And then we're going to do an if node next. So we're going to go if which is on the math, and we're going to control and C, 
actually we'll do the top one and then we'll control C and copy because it'll be the same anyway. So we're going to drag our abs absolute into B. We're going to get a um, we're going to hold one on the keyboard and then left click to get a constant, a single constant, and then we're going to check the value to this one to 0 0.5, and then we're going to get another, and then leave that at 0, and then we're going to get one more, and then we're going to pop this one to 1, oops, and then this top one is going to go into A, the second one down is going to go into A, B, and this bottom one is going to go into A equals equal B and the bottom one there. So we're going to drag that up. And that's done. So then we can copy this and paste. And we can reverse that so it looks a bit neater. Just like this. And then this is going to go to our absolute, it's going to go into our B value and our if node. And then let's make this nice and tidy. So you should have something that looks like this. So I'll leave it there for a second. You can pause so you can follow along. So coming out of pixel into a mask for R and a mask for G into two absolute nodes. We've got three constants there. One is 0 0.5, one is 0, one is 1. This one goes into A, the second one down goes into A, B, and then our third one down with the one value goes into the bottom two. So A equals equals B, and then the bottom one there, so you can see that. And then it's the same because we just copied and pasted that top one. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get an absolute will position. So let's get this down here. So absolute, uh, actually world position, oops, which is this one. So world position. And then we're gonna get um, three masks so we can get this one. And then we can control C, control V, control V and control V. So we're gonna go there, there and there, and then centralize that, move that up a little bit. So the top one's gonna to be RG. The middle one is gonna be G and B. And this bottom one here is gonna be R and B. We're gonna drag out of our world absolute position. And we're gonna pop that into those three nodes. And we're gonna get a lerp, because we wanna tie these together. So we want a... Uh, Oops, wrong one. Uh, look. Let's see if we get the right one. So that is a look. And the one that we want is not that one. We want. My eyes are failing me. Uh, no. I'm going to. There we go. So we've got our lip set up. And we are going to, let's get rid of that one. My apologies. So the one that you want is um, linear interpolate. Um, yeah, sorry, I just could not see that at all. So we're gonna pop that in, and then we're gonna drag our top mask, RG, into the A. And then we're going to drag our second one 
into B and then our so we're going to bring this up a little bit just so it's in scene so we can see that and then out of our top if node we're going to drag that into our alpha so let's drag that into our alpha let's do a reroute by double clicking and then we can make that nice and tidy so we can see where that's all going and then we're going to get another one so we're going to control c and then control v to get another loop and then out of this loop into the alpha and then out of this if is going to go into the alpha on this one and then out of the mask the bottom mask from our world position is going to go into our b so we're going to tidy this up as well and bring that up it's nice and tidy just looks a lot better and then the next thing we're going to do is come out of our lerp, our second lerp, and we're going to do a divide. Simple maths. And then we're going to get a UV. Uh, so we're going to do a S and left click for a scalar parameter. I'm going to type in UV on this one to give it a name. And that's going to be our what we're dividing by. I'm going to drag that into there. I'm going to set the value on here to let's say 300. And then out of our divide, we're going to go into UVs. It's going to look a little bit like this, but don't worry. And then out of our RGB into base color. So it should look like this. It's not too complicated. And that should be easy enough to follow. Just make sure that you have the values set up correctly on each one of these. Oops. Just like this. So it should be 0 0.501. 0 0.501. And then we've got our absolute world into the free mass. So it goes RG, GB, RB. Into a lerp, into play. And then into the second lerp. And then our UV 300 divide texture sample base color okay so we're going to apply that i'm going to go into our game so we can see here this is the original and if we try to scale this or move this around nothing happens but if we repeat the process with our new texture that we've just created um let's just find where i put that which was in here in here and it was this one so if i pop that on there and pop that on there if i move my block can you notice what's happening no matter how i move that block that texture will stay the same if i expand that block upwards or i move that block down it will lock that uv into the world position for each pixel so if I move this to the right, you can see that the texture is changing as I change the position. So it seamlessly transitions. And the next thing you're going to do, if you want to adjust the UV scaling, we can go into our texture, right click, create material instance, and then opening that, we can change our UV scale, let's say a uh, thousand. And then if we go back into, you can see there, let's apply our, so apply our material instance that we just created. We can change the size and it will still do the same. So it's really good for brick walls or anything that needs a line like floors, works on a plane, works on a sphere, works on a um, cube as you can see and I'm going to go back into so let's show you my material instance which is here I'm going to go into our UV and set that to 100 and then go back in and you can see there that, that it's automatically corrected that brick texture so let me know what you think in the comments below um, it was asked by a subscriber um, I appreciate the question well, that's how I would set that up. Um, so there you can see, you can create
create walls easily, you can scale them up and you'll always have perfectly aligned textures. Whereas on the other side, if you try to, let's just delete that. If you try to do the same and you wanted to align them, everything would have to be the same size. But if you wanted to make a slightly larger wall, you're gonna run into problems like this. But if you wanna make a larger wall, doesn't matter how big it goes, it's perfectly aligned. So hope that helps. Um, if you like the video and you found it helpful, click that like button. If you want to help support the channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see more videos like this. Um, feel free to donate to the coffee fund. Help me out any way you can. I appreciate all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. See you later.